Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together one of the dogs from the Lovable Mutts applique pattern. So this is Melville. This is the dog that we're going to be putting together. I'm actually doing two videos for this. This is the video showing you how to do it without a light box, but there is also a video showing you how to do it with a light box. And there are a couple of differences between uh, those two methods that I just want to point out before we do this. One, I am not going to be peeling the paper backing off of the, the pieces that I've cut with the fusible adhesive because I'm going to reuse them for the, the video that uses the light box. But you can see on the back of the pattern pieces, on several of the pattern pieces, there are these dotted lines. The dotted lines are placement guides that you will use to position those, and you'll see me using those in this video. Those are lines that you would ignore if you were doing it with a light box. But the numbers, um, the numbers tell you which pattern is which, so it's like a key that references it. The order of the numbers doesn't matter. That only matters for the light box. For the light box, it shows you what pattern is what and also in what order you'll be laying all the pieces down. We ignore that for when we're not using a light box. So here is how you do this. So I always start with the piece that is coming off the bottom edge of the block. So this is one that I'm doing what I call snapshot style where we want it to look like we've just snapped a quick photo of this face. And so there's a crop at the bottom of the neck, but you want the neck to go down into that space as if you've just cropped it out of a photo. You can also do the face, uh, what I call emoji style. And in that case, you would just leave the neck out and you can just float that face in the middle of the block. So you have that option with all of the blocks in the lovable Mets pattern, except for one. One of them, the head and neck, are completely connected, so there's no way to separate that out emoji style. So, since we're doing snapshot style, I'm gonna line the bottom edge of the neck piece up with the raw edge at the bottom of my block. I'm gonna scooch this up so you can see that a little bit better. My batting is hanging out past the edge of the fabric, but the um, I'm gonna line it up with the raw edge of the block itself. So, the next thing we're gonna lay down is the muzzle piece, and that is gonna overlap the neck piece. So I've transferred this dotted line for the top of the neck, and I'm going to set the muzzle piece, and as soon as it overlaps that line, I know that I've got a good overlap that's going to allow me to do all of the outline stitching that I need to do, and it's gonna be a nice, secure, clean finish in there. So the next thing we're gonna put in is the head, and we're going to tuck it behind the muzzle, and you can see I've transferred that line here. I'm just gonna tuck that back behind the muzzle. And again, once I've covered up that line, I know I've got a good overlap. Then he's got a little stripe down the center of his forehead and that also tucks in. And he's got a big fat nose and he's got, the eyes are very easy to place. And then the ears, also have a line, a dotted line that I transferred. So they are going to tuck behind the head. And again, once that line is covered, you know you've got a good, healthy overlap. And there you go. So normally I would have peeled all of the paper backings off and the next step would be to take it over to the ironing board and fuse it all in place and then do all of the outline stitching around it. So I will be back after I've done with the outline stitching and show you the finished block. All right, here is the finished block all done. I've done all of the outline stitching around it and I also added some catch lights to his eyes. I use just a simple, shiny, uh, three-dimensional fabric paint for that. I like the Scribbles brand. Um, and I've got a tutorial showing you how to do that and the pattern has a link to that if you want to see that. So I thought I would show you this finished dog, but also show you the, the Lovable Mutts pattern has 14 dogs in it. So this is just one of them that I used as the demo. And I used this one because he's pretty typical. He's got um, normal kind of ears. He's got the addition of this center stripe. He's got some stitching that you have to just stitch right over the lines. It's not all applique pieces. And that kind of, with this single block, that covers all of the different things that you may run into in any of the other blocks in the pattern. So here are the rest of the blocks. 
Uh, this one is Ed, and his he's the only pattern in the block, he's the only block in the pattern that you cannot do emoji style. So all of the other dogs have the head, you can easily just take the neck piece out and just have a floating head in the middle of the block, which is a more graphic style. I call this snapshot style and the other emoji style. And Ed is the only one that doesn't have a separate head. All of the rest of ones, the, all of the rest of the blocks in the pattern do. So a very simple yellow one. This one doesn't even have a muzzle piece. So this is a really good one to start with when you're just getting started. This one has a simple muzzle, no mouth, so no uh, just trace over the line stitching. This is the only one that I added eyebrows to, and I kind of wish now that I had used a lighter fabric for his face so that those eyebrows would show up more. But that does show you that if you don't like just stitching over the lines like that for definition, you could easily just leave the eyebrows off if you wanted to. This one I like, he just looks like a grumpy old man dog to me. Uh, this is another pretty standard one, shoulders, head, ears, muzzle, nose, and a line for the mouth. And on all of these, I should point out, I didn't design this to be a straight up mix and match pattern the way that the Playful Puppies and the More Playful Puppies pa patterns are, but you could very easily take this face and shoulders and put these ears on it and use this muzzle instead. So you've got a lot of possibilities. If 14 dogs aren't enough for you in the pattern, you could definitely create some new combinations just by swapping out ears and muzzles. You could also put different heads on different bodies. So some of the bodies are wider and some of the bodies are more skinny. So that would be another way that you could get some different looks in. This one has the addition of an eye, a spot on his eye, and I did that in a different, um, a different fabric. So all of these fabrics, I should point out, are from my blenders collections that are available on Spoonflower. I call this print spilled cereal, and this one is called almost gingham. It's very much like a gingham, but the spacing is more irregular. Um, so this is just showing you what it looks like if you bring in one other color. So I should also mention on all of these, I've created a collection on Spoonflower to make it easier for you to shop that has all of these spilled cereal prints, all of the almost gingham prints, and the background that I used. All of these background blocks are from the Farmer's Market light color palette. So here's another totally different kind of ear and this is a dog that has a little contrasting belly most of them don't have that but that's also something that you could easily take off of this and add to a different dog so you could give this guy a lighter belly patch so you definitely have room to play around with the pattern so here's another one that is more wolf-like i think this is the first one we've seen that has pointed ears more like a german shepherd He's got a very, very wide body, so that would be a fun one to play around with. So this guy has got the skinniest neck of all of the dogs, so you could give somebody else that skinny neck. And I love this guy. Just This color is called Blueberry, and I just really, really love that shade of blue. And one more. Oh, I love this guy. So another different ear shape, different head shape, another pretty skinny body shape. But all of those pieces you could mix and match with the other ones and really have fun and play around with them. So that is how you put together the dogs in the Lovable Mutts applique quilt pattern. And I hope you have fun with it. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. I'll see you next time.